Welcome to all the saints at Upland and those of you who are visiting with us. We want to welcome you and we appreciate you taking a little time out of your busy schedule and uh, spending a little time with us. This is our weekly devotional time, the Upland Spiritual Nugget on Friday. And we hope again that you will find this a time of encouraging, uh, a time of giving you the sense that God is with you even when things seem like they are out of control. God is still in control. We have been dealing with, again, all of the human issues of life as we have been going through this powerful book in the Old Testament which addresses the issues of life. The book of Psalms is a book that were written to encourage those who read it then and those of us who take the time to, to read it now. Uh, we're going to continue to spend some time in this powerful book and we're going to continue for the next few weeks looking at the sub uh, theme in a few of the books in um, in the book of Psalms, rather, some of the chapters, divisions, uh, under the, the ideal of trust, trusting God. How do we trust God in the midst of those three painful amigos, the protesting, the pandemic, and the politics? How do we find an anchor, our willingness to trust in God, to not to lean to our own understanding, but that in all of our ways, acknowledge him. And when we do that, he will indeed direct our steps. So today, today we're looking at Psalms 28, verses 6 and 7. David writes these words, praise the Lord. He has heard my prayer for mercy. I don't know how many times you've been in situations where you have said it or you've heard people who are in dire situations and uh, you will hear them say, oh, Lord, have mercy. Well, David was in this situation uh, and he writes, I praise the Lord. I thank the Lord because he heard my prayer for mercy. He says, the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my shield. I trust him with all my heart. He helped me, and so I'm happy. And I sing songs of praise to him. And we're gonna do that today. We're going to trust in God. We're going to, have to acknowledge that he is the strength in our shield. And we're going to do that with all of our heart. And we're going to praise him with songs today. I love it again how the writer says in Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never comes to an end. They are new when every morning and great is his faithfulness. So as we look at this psalm, let's know that the Lord's mercy never comes to an end. He will hear our prayer, he will hear our call, and he will grant us mercy. Now in this particular writing, uh, he begins by saying, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, because the Lord is worthy. 
But he says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. In the midst of David's deep distress, David took his fearful thoughts. He took them captive. If Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, that we are to take every thought that comes against the nature and the truth of God, we're going to take it captive and make it obedient to the truth, to Christ. So David took his fears and he remembered who God truly is. He says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. He is the source of my natural and my spiritual strength. God gave him the strength for his body and the soundness of his mind to bear under all of the difficult situations that he was struggling with. He says he is my shield. He will protect and defend me. That his power, his power, becomes God's cover, his shield and his salvation. And he says my heart trusted in him. That he trusted in the Lord as his strength and shield. And because his heart trusted in the Lord, God demonstrated that his willingness to extend mercy and grace to David. And David's faith was a strong faith. It was not shaky. He believed with all of his heart unto righteousness. And he, and he says again that the fruit of his willingness to trust in God was that God helped him. See, God is the only really true helper of his children. He helps us out in all of our troubles. Friends may be there from time to time, but God will always be there. And because God is always there, David says, my heart greatly rejoice. This is a joy that is very great. It is not a carnal joy. It is a spiritual joy, a joy in the Holy Spirit. The scripture teaches us again of the power of singing can have in ministering and encouraging us. As Paul says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. And doing so is teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing, psalms, and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your heart to God.
Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the comfort and joy I get from your precious word. And I thank you that you are my strength and my shield. Help my heart to trust in you. I praise and thank you for the help and comfort I receive through faith in your Son, my Savior. Thank you that your ear is always open to my cry for you. Help me take every thought and fear captive to obey Christ when it seems that my problems are overwhelming and cause me to fear. Forgive me and give strength through your word and the power from the Holy Spirit. My heart will praise you in song. In the sweet name of Jesus, amen.